Well, on the first Thursday of every month, we here at Local 5 spend some time at 10 o'clock dishing on Wisconsin Supper Clubs. Tonight, we head to Calumet County, known for its abundance of supper clubs, and one in particular, Schwartz's Supper Club, right on the border with Sheboygan County, has withstood the test of time with timeless traditions that remain all in the family. It's beautiful right now with the fall colors. It's the kind of restaurant where you sit down next to someone you did not know, and you're going to know them when you leave. Friday night in St. Anna, and the kitchen at Schwartz's Supper Club is hopping. Chef Patrick Schwartz is something of an air traffic controller. He needs precision timing to get the orders out. The preparation, however, began hours beforehand. Schwartz's considers itself a cut above because it hand cuts all its steaks on site. So something we have here is the meat saw, which we take these large short loins and then we cut them to get the sirloin for two, which is a unique cut to this restaurant. It's very large. Um, the porterhouses, uh, they have a tail on it, which is kind of unique to a porterhouse. Usually that's cut off. The next cut is the large T-bone. Those you don't really see in stores. That's how veteran Ziggy Schwartz did it when he and wife Evelyn opened the Supper Club back in 1957. Son John in the center here with his wife Lisa carried on the tradition until they sold to son Charlie, whose wife Stephanie has decided to carry on even after Charlie's sudden passing just months ago, thanks to her mother-in-law who is now sharing the load. The dream of Charlie to continue with the restaurant is one that it's important, it's bittersweet, um, because we always thought we would be doing it together, but we're doing it together just in a different way. It would be too much for one of us, so we decided to do it as a partnership. We want to keep it in the family, so if we both do it, it just helps. What also helps is the Schwartz children who work alongside their parents and the devoted partners of family and those who have just worked here long enough that they're practically blood. Oh, my mom worked here, so started as dishwasher, worked my way up. Great place to work, good bosses. Don't mind the work. I've always kind of felt that you know you're a member of the Schwartz family forever and ever when they tell you the recipes. And that includes hold on to your toothpicks, old fashioned lovers. Grandma Schwartz's pickled mushrooms in your cocktail. They're sweet pickled. We've been doing them since 57. Give it a try. Worst case scenario, you don't like it. We are up to doing, um, we pickle 10 pounds of mushrooms every single week. And 10 pounds doesn't seem a lot, but you have to consider that a mushroom doesn't weigh a lot either. Of course, if you don't like the mushrooms, you can always go back to your old garnish, but more often than not here at Schwartz's, folks go away with a jar of grandma's pickled mushrooms. Everybody's got their own favorite and stories as long as the bar. And that's the idea, to spend some time here at Schwartz's, where the more things change, the more they stay the same. People have come out for generations. You know, their grandfather would bring them out or their dads on Sunday afternoon. And isn't it nice to know that the person who's actually serving you, it's their name on the door. Marty's birthday, your table's ready. Marty's birthday. Schwartz's goes through a ton of meat a week, 900 pounds of which is their prime rib. <laughs> I, I noticed they use Kessler's. That's the hardcore stuff. The, <laughs> yes, the they do. The real thing. Mm -hmm. Looks like a family reunion there. It really felt like family, yeah. Tom. In fact, I met a couple that spends every Friday night at Schwartz's, with a few exceptions, since 1984. Oh, my. Their incredible story and a unique drink choice, if I might say, is our web extra right now at wearegreenbay.com. 